see what can happen. Yes, sir. Uh, Senator, I just wanted to begin by saying, despite all the monumental issues you deal with, I think it's remarkable that you remain grounded enough to find time to make an appearance in the dark night. I enjoyed, <laughs> I enjoyed your cameo greatly. With all due respect to Senator McCain, I think you have the best cameo that a member of the Senate has had in a film. <laughs> Uh, you know, I was expecting any kind of, I was sort of preparing for what kind of questions I might be asked in the Constitution. Or the other. I'll tell very briefly on the, um, how many of you saw the movie The Dark Knight? <laughs> no wonder I made so much money in residuals. The, um, <laughs> the, the cameo is uh, obviously in the cocktail party with the, Joker comes in, fires a shotgun. I step forward and say, we're not intimidated by thugs. <laughs> at which, remember that? At, at, which point, at which point he comes over, whips out a knife, holds it to my throat, tells me I remind him of his father, but he hated his father. Fortunately, um, he was then distracted and I remained alive. Um, I did this, uh, every cent I get from that, goes to a children's library in Montpelier, Vermont, the Kellogg Hubbard Library, where I had my first library card, I was about four, and um, had a special showing of it because I was in it. raised about $125,000 for the library, and I, I hope I do get a lot of residuals because they go there. I was asked what my motivation was to be so authoritative. I said, well, when I was a state's attorney, at least a couple of occasions, I personally arrested murderers. Director says, wow, all by yourself? I said, well, I had 20 or 25 heavily armed state troopers with me. <laughs> but I was staying right behind them. I was very, go ahead with your question. Uh, my question is simply, in your expert opinion,